Genes are actually turned on and off by the environment. The whole study of epigenetics is, that, is how genes are actually <coughs> activated or inactivated by the environment. So a study out of McGill University um, just within the last couple of years looked at the brains of suicide victims. And they knew who had been uh, uh, abused as a child and who hadn't. And in the brains of people who had been abused as kids, there, was, there were particular genetic changes that, were, that was caused by the abuse. And uh, at University of British Columbia, within the last year, they showed that when they looked at the genetic functioning of teenagers, a whole number of genes had been affected in the teenager by stresses that the mother had in the child's first couple of years of life. And a bunch of other genes were affected by stresses on the father when he was a little bit older. In other words, when the primary relationship is just with the mother, then it's the mother's stresses that affects the genetic t functioning of the child who later becomes a teenager whose genes are still affected by what happened to the mother in the first three years of life. And then later on, stresses on the father. So that genes don't uh, by themselves explain very much. Be, unless we recognize that genes are actually turned on and off by the animal.